Hi guys, welcome to the channel. Quick general love reading for my friends Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Whenever you watch this, take what resonates and leave what doesn't. If you resonate, let us know, like, share and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for the support. So guys, let's find out together what's coming through for you. Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus in the love arena. Let's see what we can get. Passion. Insane chemistry, like each other equally, having fun. The Grim Reaper, the relationship is over, no second chances, grow and transform your life. Healthy choices, making healthy choices in love and in life, self-love, self-care, being happier. Bottom of the deck, guys, we have soulmates. Soul connection, partnership, agreement, soul contract. So maybe a meaningful connection or a desire for a soulful one. Kind of living in the past something that was not fulfilling. Let's also pull from this Oracle deck. Big happy changes. Communicate clearly. Bottom of the deck. We have compromise. Let's see what the tarot has to say about these energies. Ooh, almost a jumper. And we are ready now. So, current situation, the Sun, King of Cups, Six of Wands, Two of Pentacles, Challenge, Queen of Wands, Your Energies, Page of Pentacles, Three of Wands, Three of Swords, your person's energies, King of Pentacles, Hanged Man, Four of Wands, our focus, Knight of Wands, bottom of the deck, Ace of Wands. So, passion. Huge factor in this flow. Guys, this can be a new connection, mm, but some of you can be cautious because of past experiences. Three of Swords, um, they didn't pay off. The Grim Reaper is about this energy. It's kind of like some of you, when it comes to new contacts with new potential partners mm, can truly be cautious a kind of with a particular attention to your sixth sense when it comes to potential players knight of wands someone that can truly play with your heart um, kind of focusing too much on the uh, passionate side of an interaction and a potential connection. Um, there is an encouragement, if you ask me, in this flow, um, which is represented by the big happy changes oracle card that goes with the sun. The sun for me is about inner happiness, the courage of a person to understand where their happiness truly is and how it can be possible to pursue it. In this case, we are talking about fulfillment in the love arena um, because of the king of cups, emotional maturity. We know that the king has mastered everything about his feelings and emotions but for me sometimes he can struggle a little bit with the communication part in this case it is about opening up feelings uh, so deep under the surface 
in the King uh, card and it is kinda like uh, some of you may desire to wait um, before you bring feelings and emotions to the table in a new connection we have the waiting energy represented by the three of wands if you resonate with the six of wands the warrior coming back from the battle victorious you have left behind the battlefield it is in the past the grim reaper and the three of swords also you are looking for victory you are looking for rewards but in the meantime there is an evaluation that uh, can take place about new contacts the Queen of Wands is a beautiful energy, it can be about passion, but we know that the Queen is intuitively guided, so if this energy speaks to you, you can embrace the new interactions with new people, let's say, but you will look carefully at the uh, potential new connection. Because if you spot Knight of Wands, Ace of Wands, well, there can be a ringing bell this person um, is quite a character king of pentacles reliable grounded trustworthy this person can provide for themselves they can be even willing to do the same in favor of a love partnership but they are looking for the real deal four of wands uh, ultimate celebration as an energy it can be an energy about marriages and they are in a hanged man position when it comes to the desire to find the person for them they are not in a hurry that's why the two of you can understand each other when it comes to the opportunity to uh, get things going without any type of rush page of pentacles sweet energy yes let's get to know each other uh, more and more but um, without rushing things this can be quite a modus operandi it's kinda like uh, we can match the compromise oracle card so looking for common grounds and the communicate clearly that can be about um, an opportunity to share with each other what we want to achieve so let's find out more let's see also because the man in the three of wands is waiting for the sun so we are truly looking uh, for an opportunity that can be a positive one here we go the Emperor the nine of wands well makes sense considering the three of swords three of swords here we go and the four of pentacles closed off approach safe mode better safe than sorry um, this can be about what we were sharing um, no need to rush things kinda desire to understand if we can open up because the man is keeping the pentacle extremely close to his chest because previous experiences have taught him that this is the wisest choice to make uh, the past is here one more time three of swords heart takes heart breaks the wounded warrior the wounded warrior I'm sorry uh, forgot an R um, the wounded warrior defenses up for protection but we know that the warrior is a brave man or a brave woman um, that has gone through a lot of challenges and he has found a way to power through them learning quite a lot about himself and about the journey uh, the emperor guys is the moment of action um, the emperor can transform into action a plan well thought the plan well thought is about the evaluation when it comes to the connection the cycle that we have to break following the um, the symbol the infinite symbol in the two of pentacles is about the doubts 
and the questions um, when it comes to a new interaction. Let's see the Queen of Wands. King of Wands. A queen looking for a king and a king looking for a queen. Passion, huge factor, but there is an attention to, to the way that uh, passion can be implemented in a connection. Eight of Wands, guys. Cupid's arrows, arrows of love. This can be an energy about communication and also, why not, uh, some type of a realization that uh, two persons can like each other. Like each other equally. The past can be a source of wisdom in order to pay attention to factors that maybe um, during previous experiences uh, were not fulfilling enough. Let's see your side of the energies. The Three of Wands is about intentions, so you have clear in your mind uh, what you are looking for, uh, but you are willing to take your time, kinda, uh, to find uh, the person for you, a fair companion, as I usually say. Nine of Pentacles, talk about uh, someone that is looking for a fair companion. Primary source of her own satisfaction. Um, she doesn't need anything from anyone. She can provide for herself. No interest whatsoever for connections that can be unbalanced or a source of disappointments. Uh, the lady may have gone through challenging times, but she has found a way to bounce back and now she is looking for someone that can share virtues, values and aspirations. Seven of Pentacles, you are not in a hurry. Taking the proper time, this can even be a beautiful combination, nine and seven of Pentacles, about investing in yourself. Kudos to you. You can be uh, quite successful also in your professional endeavors. That's also why uh, you can even catch a lot of attention following the Queen of Wands paired up with the Nine of Pentacles lady. This person can notice you guys or this person has noticed uh, you guys. Seven of Cups. This can be an energy about doubts, questions. Um, it can be about indecision, also about options. It can be, a, it can be the evaluation, guys a list of pros and cons also. But the sun is also an energy about clarity, uh, bringing things to light, and this can be positive for you. Let's see your person's side. Here we go. Page of Pentacles. Mirror effect, recurrent energy, the page. Um, taking things slowly. We can get to know each other more and more. Uh, simple energy, but trustworthy. The page of pentacles for me is the most diligent between the four. He wants to learn. This person may truly um, desire to discover you guys more and more. This is lovely. <laughs> Ace of Pentacles. This can be quite an offer. It can come um, following a process, step by step. But this is the intention of the king. This is a cornerstone blessed with trust. Trust can be a huge factor because it can allow uh, the wounded warrior or the four of Pentacles man to open up. Knight of Cups, romantic gesture, this is about feelings, this is about love, emotions, opening up with confidence, um, the willingness to accept, to be vulnerable with someone that can truly be an important uh, figure, an important person, 
and guys passion then can become a plus bottom of the smaller deck beautiful ten of cups well guys this is um this is an encouragement to be honest um it can be it can be a new dawn a new dawn in the love arena for some of you and also for some of your uh, new potential partners um, you can resonate you can like each other you can have fun with each other um, um, considering how the connection can unfold and uh, there is no need to rush things because they can happen in a natural way and this can truly be uh, one of the best possible thing uh, that can happen uh, to a connection a natural uh, development in favor of those involved so guys some more oracle cards for guidance considering these energies satisfaction it is it is a key factor in this reading you let the energy of love guide you to self-approval so that others no longer define who you are in this case the past will not define those of you that can resonate this is a new dawn a new day has come I guess that it was a song uh, by Celine Dion if I am not mistaken forgiveness guys this is not a second chance um, the message is I acknowledge that harboring resentment blocks the flow of love in this case as I usually say um, it is about the opportunity to forgive ourselves if something uh, does not go our way along the journey there can be a disappointment absolutely but um, we can take a moment we can take a step back we forgive ourselves we are at charge on an energy level and we bounce back stronger than before wiser than before friendliness uh, this can be a factor in favor of the connection and in favor of the starting point a friendly interaction you are able to recognize traits in common with another in order to forge love-based connections this is a beautiful message it's perfect for this reading harmony there is harmony in the ten of cups energy in the four of wands you are able to feel a loving balanced connection with everything and as I usually say also with a special person and this is the case so let's consider also the soulmates energy as a further encouragement in favor of a new connection that can be a meaningful one because there is a resonance let's say in favor of those involved bottom of the deck expression communicate clearly you are ready to manifest your thoughts and transform them into acts of love this is a big chance guys you can take your time you can evaluate properly you can talk with this person um, you can get to know them more and more but if you close your eyes and you trust your heart you will be able to tell if this new person can be the one that can join forces with you in order to build the future that can bring further satisfaction and happiness in favor of you guys because you can recognize this chance as the opportunity to embrace a healthy choice that can pay off so guys I am extremely pleased with this flow I hope that I made myself clear with my English and this was helpful let us know if you resonate comment like share subscribe to the channel until next time I wish you the best take very good care of you and I will talk to you soon bye